Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to go to a gala dinner and I am going to show you guys how I create a glam makeup look with my hair to match my outfit. So, I have been doing my own makeup since I was 5 years old. Just kidding. But I have pictures from my childhood. At 5 years old, I was already experimenting with my mom's eyeshadow. So I've been loving makeup since I was a little girl. And I still love it very, very much. I always do my own makeup. I prefer a simpler look without being too excessive, even if I do photo shoots and filming. But tonight, we are going to try on a more glamorous makeup. I'm going to start with my foundation. I like to squeeze my foundation in a palette. I really like this foundation because it matches exactly with my skin color and I like how it stays on my skin and it doesn't smudge or streak or look patchy on my skin so I've been sticking with this foundation for a while now and I'm very happy with it I like to use a brush to put on my foundation so I will use a slightly moist brush and to just take a little bit on and then shearing it out on my skin I feel like when my skin is looking good I don't need too much of it but I just like to even out my skin tone and not forgetting to take it all the way down to your neck because you want to have a very even tone And I like to use a beauty blender to just press on it to even and shear it out for a very natural finish. And I'd like to take a smaller brush and put the foundation around the sides of my nose because I don't like to see all these dark shadows over my dark circles as well. This part I'm really anal about so I like to put on a slightly thicker layer to just make all these imperfections on my face just disappear and using a beauty blender to further shear it out looks good and still maintaining my own natural glow as you can see not putting too much of foundation if you have good skin you just really want to show it off and next I'm going to put on my concealer I am using the IT bye bye under eye so I, I've been having this breakout since the haze started and it's like all my chin area so I have had to use a concealer and I actually use this concealer for my under eye but I like to just use the same concealer even on my marks or whichever imperfections I have on my face that I want to conceal and cover so um, I just stick to one it's just makes my life easier that way <laughs> so i like to squeeze a bit of concealer onto a palette my mixing palette sometimes when i feel that the concealer is a little bit too thick and i don't need so much coverage on a certain area i would use a brush and then i will mix it with the foundation that i'm using on that day so i like to mix it to reduce the consistency and the opaqueness of the concealer look look at that look at that oh my god this haze is killing me okay it, this is this has got to stop okay i'm gonna mix it like i take a little bit of my concealer i don't think i need such a thick coverage but who knows tap it on hmm. and then patting it on with the beauty blender so that it blends with the rest of my skin now on to the next Mark. Mm. Okay, 
right now I'm going to go for my under eye although it's not that bad is it I'm insecure about it and I'm just going to go with a little bit so I'll mix it out mix it out with my foundation just to make sure that you know there are no shadows at all at all so when the light shines on me it'll be like a perfect porcelain finish I also like to just go over my eyelid with the concealer that is mixed with foundation. It kind of acts like an eyeshadow primer for me. Leave no imperfection on your face. Ah, spot it. So I have another little mark here. Just Dab it and make sure that everything blends together. Okay, we are done with the foundation and the concealer. Let's move on. Okay, now that I'm flawless like bone china, I am going to set this perfect base with a little bit of the loose powder. So what I like to do is to use a tiny brush like that for around my nose area and under my chin so that uh, the powder will sit perfectly nicely into these little spaces and it will last throughout the day without creasing which I hate I'm really really anal about like uh, makeup creasing around my um, nose area or um, looking patchy and flaky that is a no-no so I'm just gonna dab a bit of powder. My powder is from Shantikai. It's a very natural loose powder in a light color so I'm just going to tap it off like that and press it into my nose area. And I like to do it to my under eye as well so that when I use a big brush to brush it off. All these areas would already have powder perfectly set into the skin. Just very, very light tabs around the eye area. And then I'm going to take a very big and fluffy brush like this and just dab it over my neck area as well, wherever my foundation went. I like wearing powder and foundation on a daily basis because it acts like a barrier from like the dust and the dirt outside. It saves my skin from what could be an even worse breakout situation. Can you imagine if I didn't have my foundation and powder on that day when I was sitting outdoors? Well, now I have like one, two, three on my nose. I may end up with like spots all over my forehead and my cheeks. So yeah, wear your foundation, ladies. It could save your skin. I actually spend the most time on my foundation. Do you believe that? Okay, I think I've dabbed on my powder for at least five minutes now. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very long makeup video. So bear with me, guys. Now, enough of powdering my face. Let's move on. I'm still powdering my face. I can't believe it. This is so crazy. <laughs> stop, stop. Girl, you gotta stop this right now. Move on. So next, I'm going to move on to my brows, even though they've been perfectly embroidered on me. For my daily makeup, I really don't have to do anything to it, but for a glam look, maybe I should go with a slightly stronger brow. So I'm just going to add on a few strokes to make it even more pop and stand out. So I'm just going to give my eyebrows a little brush so that the powder that have been accumulated is going to just drop off. So I'm going to use a liquid brow pen. I'm using one from K Palette as you can see that is like completely wearing out even the words are gone so just shows you how long I have had this pen. I like it because it has a very very sharp tip that I can 
simulate my real hairs just by you know filling in strokes like that just going to be using it sparingly because we don't want to be overpowering as well I really don't like excess on my face yep I think that's all we need and the next step for my brows is I like to soften up the lines with an eyebrow powder I am using one from Anastasia we'll take a little bit of a mix of colors there's a lighter one and a darker one I like to just go in the middle and then I am going to soften the brows with this powder so that it looks very natural okay the brows are done so I'm going to go with a metallic look for my eyes tonight let me decide which palette I want to use but I kind of have it in my mind already I've been wanting to use my Tom Ford palette which is this one and I like it because it's like really really metallic and high shine and I think it really does go with the look that I am going to be wearing tonight I'm going to start with my eyeshadow I like to use this bone color by my daily palette it's by YSL just at the bottom of my eyes and then I'm going to go with this palette from Tom Ford it's got disco dust this palette I'm taking this kind of a peachy brown shade at the inner corner of my eyes and for the middle part which I'm using this other palette which is the metallic palette that I'm going to go with tonight I'm gonna to put some of that metallic gold with my fingertips at the center of my eyes because I feel that when I apply it with my fingers the color comes out stronger and since I'm going for a very glam look tonight I could afford to go a little bit stronger and more adventurous so I'm gonna be very adventurous and use this shade I have never put it on myself before let's get a, another brush a tiny one I'm using this brush because it picks up more color apply it around the socket area just take it up a little for a cat eye effect I'm just going to do that with my other eye let me just make sure that I've even it out and I'm going to use this sponge tip applicator and apply the darker color on this palette to the bottom of my eye but let me test it out myself first it is kind of like a wine brown kind of color okay next I'm going to be doing my eyeliner I'm using my favorite eyeliner from K palette it is the real lasting eyeliner I like to use a brown shade because I think that it is softer I would just like to draw a straight line and just wing it out at the side for a cat eye look this is very very precise lining and you just need to practice it if you practice it every day you will be able to get it right I'm going to stretch my skin up a little so that it makes it easier for me to just draw a very precise line you can see that there's a big difference between wearing eyeliner and not wearing eyeliner it literally just wakes my eyes up so I'm going to do my bottom eyeliner first I like to use a skin tone eyeliner my favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury rock and roll iconic eyeliner it is in like a skin skin kind of shade something like that and I like to line my entire waterline below with this to further brighten my eyes it really makes a big difference trust me well, you gotta have a very steady hand I, I don't want you guys like poking your eyes with this so 
just do it slowly. Instead of using like a pencil liner for the bottom of my eyes, I kind of like to use a powder eyeliner instead. So taking a very tiny, tiny, tiny brush like this, it's the tiniest that I could find in the market. I use this and I am going to pick up my brown for the bottom eyelid. I like this very dark one from Marc Jacobs. It is from the palette, the Lolita. And that's my favorite brown for a strong eyeliner. So I'm just gonna line it like three quarter and I'm gonna smudge it out so that it looks more natural. So I'm gonna join it at the tip with the top and wing it out even more to make my eyes look longer. Smudge it out with a sponge tip applicator. Just gently smudge it out. And next I'm going to put on some shine just below my eyes. So I'm going to use my highlighter palette. This one is by Tarte. It's called Tarte's Pro Glow one of my favorite palettes because it's really really versatile. I'm going to use the lightest color right here. It's very very shiny and I'm going to use a small brush. It's the same brush that I use for my concealer because it's the tiniest one and I am going to just line the bottom of my eyes to give it like a sparkle. Sparkles are really really pretty for like a glam evening look but I wear them every day anyway I just love sparkle never be afraid to shine a little bit brighter just do it a little bit at a time instead of plonking like a whole load of it because it may it's it's easier to add on than to take them out so yeah just very very little If I want it to be even more sparkly, I'm going to pick out a liquid glitter. I like this liquid glitter from Urban Decay. It is kind of like pinkish and really, really shiny. So let's just add on more shine by lining it very carefully just at the bottom of the eyelid. Then next, I am going to heat up my eyelash curler. This one is by Panasonic, but the last time I tried to go buy a new one and they stopped making them. So I actually went online to eBay and I bought like four just to stand by, but I really hope that they come up with a newer version. This is really, really what I swear by to get my eyelashes to curl. I'm not, uh, big on eyelash extensions because the once I tried it and my god it was a really really bad experience besides that the lashes go sideways on one eye and the other eye it just goes like upwards so it's it's not balanced and I had to spend another hour there just taking it out so that's a no-no for me. Just make sure that you put it as close to your eyelids as possible before you clip. So I like to start clipping from the center. Just stay there for a while and after that I will just move it to the sides to make sure that I get all my eyelashes curled in the process. So I do it once center another one outwards and then I'm going to go inwards so three times for each eye perfect and then I like to put on my mascara right after because I don't want the curl to like die off 
so immediately I am going to put on my mascara I hardly ever ever change my mascara I've been using the heroin make I start with the long and curl mascara and my second layer I would use the volume and curl and that will take me through the whole day last for like 10 hours I swear make sure you start from right at the bottom of your lashes right at the roots of your lashes and then upwards and not forgetting the inner corners as well all right so um the first layer of mascara on this eye is done you can see a big difference and you can compare it with the other eye and this one really looks super glam like super glam so i'm heating up my eyelash color for the next eye I'm going to do the bottom lashes sometimes I skip this step but rarely because I really like to have a very wide-eyed look and just comb out the clumps with a metal comb like this believe me no girl should be without this Then I am going to use the volume and curl mascara and repeat the same steps as previous um, on both eyes, top and bottom. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with me coating each and every of my eyelash with this. So you guys know the drill, just repeat. Okay, now my lashes are fully done. Let's have a look. I may just widen my eye by putting three of these individual eyelashes just right at the end of um, the eyes to give it a more glamorous effect. And I am going to finish off my eye area with a brow gel. This one is by Anastasia and the color is in chocolate which I like very much. I think that it looks exactly like the color of my hair, my brows. So I like to use a brow gel because I want the front of my brow to stand up. It just looks more glamorous that way. And next I am going to go with a neutral blusher. This one from Moa Cosmetics in Cuckoo Girl. One of my favorite color for like a nude look. But I figured that tonight I have got fairly strong eyes on. Although they're not smoky but it's strong for my standard. So I am going to go with a neutral blusher. Right now I'm going to use a slightly lighter highlight right here. It is from Too Faced. It's a peach scented glow. I'm not going to go with very strong bronzer tonight. Just slightly below my chin to give like a more definition. I'm going to go with some shine on my cheeks right now. It is from Urban Decay, the Naked Illuminated. I promise you this is going to Gleam. It's not even just going to shine, it's going to gleam. Ha, ah, you know what? I'm just going to put a little bit on my brow bone to, to make it gleam. Ooh, shiny bright. And I'm not forgetting, I knew I forgot something. Okay, I am going to shade my nose a little bit give it more definition. My nose will kind of look sharper in the photos, hopefully. And in the center, the lighter color to give a bit of a highlight to the center of my nose. I think I could afford to have a little bit of shine on my forehead. Although my skin is already kind of pretty glowy because I've been drinking celery juice every day. Okay, so my skin is looking radiant and glowy, but a little bit more shine wouldn't has never hurt anyone just go for it girl just go for it yes and next we are going to do the lips 
let's just line the lips first so I just like to line my lips like inwards as well so that even if I eat or drink throughout the night and I didn't have time or am too lazy to touch up my lipstick I would still have my, like my lips left I've decided that I shouldn't go with a red lip even though that's red on my outfit because I think it's going to be too much I'm going to go with a peachy tone I like to use a lip brush so that the color is very evenly distributed I'm just going to keep my lips matte today so I'm not going to wear any gloss because I feel that it may be too much and yes we are done my makeup is done let me just um, set it with a spray I'm going to make like this whole look a little bit more dewy so that it doesn't look too you know like too much I love this dewy spray by Tasha so I'm just going to give a few spritz on my face now I am going to show you how I'm going to do a very quick hairdo a very simple quick hairdo that you can do by yourself yes because I'm too lazy to go to the salon today and then I am going to do it myself I'm going to do a very obvious side part and bunning my hair into a low bun Twist it into a low sheet and try and make it like quite tight and neat. Alright, I'm just gonna neaten my fringe with a bit of spray. And so, this is my glam look for tonight. And I'm going to get changed right now and show you guys the total look. And I'm going to just give myself a final spray. This is a body spray of my favorite Chanel number no. 5. Just spray it over. And then finish off with my fragrance. This is what I like to do. It's just two spritz and on my wrist. And I'm ready to change. How do you like my total deal look? I'm all ready to rock the night. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do give me a thumbs up. I'm saying ciao for now. See you next week and good vibes only. Oh man, my collarbone is totally sticking out. It me look like I'm undernourished. Someone stole my spoolie. Did someone steal my spoolie?